Okay, welcome back to this video tutorial series on car designing a creature, character, in Photoshop. Um, I probably didn't choose the best sketch in the world. I'm just realizing this now, but I'm going to go with it. Um, mainly because this is a flat image, and I would normally like to have, instead of sketched it and scanned it, sketched it in Photoshop first so that I have the strokes and shadows on separate layers. But we're going we're gonna to go with this and see how it turns out. So first let's make this full screen. Um, also I'm going to try to keep these tutorials down to um, 10 minutes or less. Makes it quicker uploading to YouTube. Um, well first thing I want to do is I really want to start um, cleaning this up a bit. So I'm going to take an eraser and just start actually let me put this on its own layer first start erasing a lot of this. Um, probably a lot faster ways of doing it. Um, you know, I could do the select, but I really like working with my tablet. Um, and basically, you know, I'd rather just erase as I go. Work with my tablet and do it that way as opposed to using the selection tool to try and um, get all the get all this stuff out of here. Um, let me just find a good brush size. Stop getting carried away here playing with the brush. Okay, we'll take off the big chunks first, and then we'll hone in a little bit later. I don't know what's going on with my tablet. Maybe I got to update my drivers, but you see I'm getting some kind of jitter here. I don't like that. I'm using a Cintiq 12 UX or VX, I forget the exact model number, but um, greatest, greatest computer peripheral I've ever purchased. If they even call them peripherals anymore, I don't really know uh, the correct terminology. But anyway. I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. hate wasting time on stuff, but I figured um, if I at least cover this in the tutorial, people get an idea of everything from start to finish, what it takes, uh, or at least how I personally prefer to do things. Um, working with a pen right on screen is phenomenal. You know, there's pros and cons to it. It has a lot to do with just, you know, how you're used to drawing. This cutout here doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I just want to get it down um, as tight as I can for this because I'm sure by the time we're done, this creature is going to look very different than what it does right now. Um, so, this is really just, like I mentioned earlier, um, something I'm using as a basic template. It is also the basis of the alien, so it is going to have the same facial structure and, you know, similar texturing, and, but uh, it'll certainly take on a whole new form before we're done here. I don't know if I want to erase this jawline here. Uh, I guess so. Why not? That lag is really bothering me. I wonder if I have a setting off somewhere that I shouldn't have. But anyway, I don't like this choppiness. I want a nice, you know, I'm moving my pen nice and smooth. I want a nice smooth cut there. Maybe somebody from Wacom or Wacom, whatever you want to call it, will see this video and make some suggestions on what could be up with my pen settings. Not con too concerned about it right now, but certainly something I want to fix or at least get working right sometime soon. I know it's not my brush settings. All right? Oh, wait, shape dynamic? No. Smoothing? Would the smoothing be doing it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it was that smoothing setting. Okay. 
control zero. That's a little tighter. I don't really like this down here too much. Alright, now we save it. Um, next thing I want to do, I'd like to put him up against the background. Um, so I'm going to load up a background texture I have. Just to kind of give it like a, a textured, grainy paper kind of feel. Sometimes it'll, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like working with that empty space. It bothers my eyes or whatever. It's just more comfortable um, working. a decent one. Uh, textures. I have a texture saved here. I'm going to load this up. Um, I'm out of the full screen. I'll just drag and drop this here. Oh, the resolution's way different, huh? That's okay. Not really too concerned about making it an exact match or fit. Uh, we'll, we'll do something like this here. And then, um, drop that behind here. Okay. Um, hmm, I wonder if I should put this on top, maybe carry some of that texture into the creature. We'll change the blending options on the layer, we'll go through some, see what, see what I like best here. Screen, zoom in a little bit, that's not too bad. some others. That's good. Multiply is pretty good. I like the way you can see some of that graininess added in there. Let's go down a little bit more. Color burn. Let's see what I like here. Overlay. I don't really like overlay. Soft light's not too bad. Okay, you might want to